Hi. Hi. Welcome back to our podcast. Episode four. I had to like count out <laughs> my fingers. <laughs> I'm Kaylee. I'm Megan. We are retired fangirls. Um, we started this podcast recently just to talk multi-fandom stuff, pop culture stuff, whatever our heart desires. We are OG Percy Jackson fans, and that's how we met. Internet friends for life. For almost a decade at this point, which is insane. insane. I hate that. Does it make you feel old? It does. Like, I'm like high school. I started high school 10 years ago. Me too, because we're the same age, right? Yeah. Yeah. We are. We're only a month apart. Oh, right. wait, that's so cute. I think so. I yeah. just forget how old everyone is because we didn't go to school together. Like I know, it's wild. And Raina hasn't aged since, even though she's like 18 now. I was like looking through my old Camp Hapla photos and I was like, wait, Raina went to camp with me like for one week. Like I was with her, <laughs> but she was like a baby. Like she was like 13, 14. She was a baby when we brought her into the fold. I know, isn't that wild? Shout out Raina. She was a big fan of us. And then she was like, can I join the channel? And we were like, yes. Somehow she got in there before everyone started asking us <laughs> to join the channel. We were like, you're chasing clout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, how are you? I'm good. I'm so tired today. I think it's because um, I'm not used to living in a basement yet. So like the sun not waking me up has been like a lot, but it's like warm in New York. So I'm excited to get outside after we're done recording. Oh yeah. My hatch alarm waking me up with the sunrise. I know I'm really considering it. Really, really considering it. <laughs> oh, I found like a cheap hack or like a, you know, a hack. I do. To, like, yeah. Yeah. Get one of those like light bulbs that you can just install on a lamp and then you can mm -hmm. like do an, the app to like set it to rise. Uh, so maybe you can do that. Maybe I'd have to get one of those lamps but I'll figure it out yeah. just like a lamp with a light bulb I don't know just something yeah I don't know um I had a mental breakdown last night <gasps> well, why movie well no I'm fine <laughs> something like always goes wrong with me and Ikea like <laughs> I don't know what it is I hate driving there first of all it's like I know this doesn't seem long I'm from Texas but in Boston in Mass it feels long 40 minutes to go to Ikea and I'm like I know what I want I get everything I come back home I'm like already in a bad mood I'm on my period whatever and we put it together it's like it's a desk for my PC mm -hmm. we put it together it's uneven we're like what is wrong and it's like the countertop it's supposed to be flat but it's like sagging it bowed yeah and Ooh. so like, the legs are like uneven and I don't want to put them you should talk to Ikea that's a quality control issue exactly so, but I'm like I have to go and drive back to Ikea to do the return you can't and like call and be like pick couch. this up I'm just like why does Ikea why can't Ikea be like Amazon where I can return it on my Whole Foods <laughs> yeah I um got all of my this is the first time I furnished a room um this is my dresser if you're on the YouTube you can see um I built it with my own two hands and I also built this desk that I'm filming at with my own two hands um I order everything off Wayfair mm. though because it's cheaper than Ikea um but also like I just like their stuff a little bit better and their instructions are a little easier for me yeah. to digest I stabbed myself with a screwdriver the other day <gasps> putting something in I Oh, it's healed. I built this desk so long ago. Um, I like hammered my finger yeah. on the nail. I was bleeding and I was home alone. I'm like, am I dying? Yeah. But it's fine. It bled a lot when I, I knew. Well, me too. I was like, what? I was like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> James. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I have to go back to IKEA at some point, so I'm annoyed. But other than that, chill weekend. Oh podcast people we're here a week early we adjusted our schedule mm -hmm. so our last episode was like last friday we just spoke last week there's not that much to catch up on um but i did finish four books over the weekend what 
I don't know what came over me. I was just feeling 16. Um, I've been reading Island by Huxley for a really okay. long time. I just couldn't get through it. It's like, have you read anything by Huxley before? No. He wrote Brave New World, which is- Oh, I had to read popular. that in English class. Yeah. Yeah. Most people have read that. Um, I think reading it as an adult is a completely different experience and I loved it a lot more. Okay. Um, but I've been trying to read Island by him and it's just so philosophical. Like there's not as much plot. It's just like, like this reporter um, is going to this Island that's like super self-suspicious, like doesn't rely on the outside world, hmm. like- at all and he's trying to convince them to like sell oil to them or something like that um and it's just about the philosophy of the people who live on the island and what they do and they take shrooms a lot like it's like interesting but there's it's so like rich like there's so much philosophy in there where I'm like oh I wanted a novel um yeah so when I finished that like the floodgates opened um, and then I read The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, mm -hmm. Cat's Cradle by Vonnegut, who I love. Um, and then Electra by Jennifer Saint. It's, she also wrote Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you telling me about it, yeah. Yeah. Um, it just, like, suddenly became really easy to read again. So I so might that's finish my best, shelf. No, yeah. That's, like, the best when you're just, like, wow, yeah. I love it for you. Mm-hmm. So what's next on the the reading list? Um, I can't decide if I'm gonna do some poetry next because I have a few of those to like chew through. Those take a long time for me to like read though because I love to digest and annotate. Um, okay. or if I'm gonna do tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by Gabrielle Seven. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Lots to think about. Both good options. You're kind of like in your worry. I know we talked about Gilmore Girls last. <laughs> week. You're kind of in your Rory Gilmore era right now. I guess and she's constantly reading that's mm -hmm. like the thing always reading classics and stuff it's just that's such an easy me. show to put on the background <laughs> I believe it there's a lot of the like Gossip Girl is my yeah on the background show <laughs> I just finished Outer Banks like we played it in the background while we were like building our mm -hmm. stuff like over the weekend it's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> like, like Riverdale ridiculous not as bad but okay. like just I can't do you want me to spoil the ending for you yes of course I do spoiler okay. alert for if you're listening for spoiler Outer Banks alert. which I think has been out for a million years well this is season three so it just came oh, out. oh okay yeah so if you haven't seen it yet whatever but basically so the show starts off they're like the main character's dad is looking for treasure and he dipped and we're like okay he's looking for treasure and then there's like a gold cross involved with this, which is okay. I think, the treasure. And then fast forward to like now, the gold cross has been melted. So I'm like, hi, where'd she, what happened to her? That was like the whole point of it. And now yeah. they're for El Dorado. And, and then at the end, they find it, whatever. They didn't even show us what it looked like. But at the end, this guy comes up to them and they're like, we need you to solve blackbeard where blackbeard ship went <laughs> i'm like what? sounds like national treasure the tv show it's like every single treasure ever lore into one tv show about these like kids on in north carolina south carolina wherever outer banks is i don't know okay yeah well <laughs> what <laughs> oh okay you yeah know, sometimes you just need something shitty to turn on in the background yeah but y'all y'all have fun with that I'm here to enjoy it though mm -hmm. um yeah I don't think everything needs to be the highest art like I say as I read the classics and I love it but every like you don't have to Just have, have that much to chew on in everything yeah. you watch you know like you can love Legally Blonde and there's not enough to dissect there <laughs> Legally Blonde is amazing <laughs> it's a national treasure yeah Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of Reese Witherspoon, I watched. Well, I tried to watch the with new Kutcher. Yeah, the one with Ashton Kutcher. It's yeah, it's your mine. We had a girls' night, and we're like, let's watch it. <laughs> it was so bad. Really? We like bad not... in a fun way, or bad in like a this isn't for my age group way. It was like in a fun way, like crappy movie, you know. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't finish it. Like we literally wow, 
and there was no chemistry because the whole like premise of the movie is that they were like always one's in LA one's in New York and then Ashton Kutcher he goes to LA to take care of Reese Witherspoon's child while Reese Witherspoon goes to New York to like finish a program or something so they're never together and then it's like you don't even see them together so the only chemistry you see between them is through like FaceTime oh yeah so I didn't finish that okay <laughs> but that another is frustrating yeah <laughs> another really good movie I watched everyone is raving about this it's called RRR I don't know if you heard of it it's like no I haven't it's insane like it's this epic it's an Indian film and it's on Netflix it's like really fucking long <laughs> it's like three and a half hours long I don't even know mm-hmm. it's like you just had to watch it like the story and it's like anime IRL like the effects are so good the fighting scenes it's like brotherhood friendship like I can't rave enough about it <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me um my like after my senior year of high school me and my friends all got together and we did like this movie night where we all watched our favorite movies so we all picked yeah. one I made them watch Dear Evan Hansen that's like when I was really in that era no well, why? first of all it was 2017 it was okay. a different time and we watched not the movie we watched like, oh okay a bootleg of the stage version the movie okay, wasn't out fine. yet it was that's 2017 fine. yes yeah right. so we watched a bootleg of the stage version um because I had just come back from I went to New York for spring break and we saw original Broadway cast yeah um like all of that which was a religious experience for a theater kid yeah. <laughs> but um I made them watch that. My other, like my best friend made us watch The Conjuring. Someone oh. else made us watch Toy Story. Like it was just like this weird smattering yeah. of movies. Um, and then one of my friends had us watch Three Idiots, uh, which is a Bollywood film. Yeah. Um, and it was a wild ride. It was also like three hours long. There were like four different movies happening at once. There's just so much <laughs> unpack there. Yeah. Hollywood movies are something else. They're wild. They're wild, but they're so good. And like, there'll be like an epic action scene and then suddenly they're dancing and they're singing. And I'm like, yes, like I'm here for it. (laughs) The whole production. They just hit all the genres at once. No, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Um, Speaking of shows, Mandalorian season three is out. Bitches. Did they drop it all at once to binge or is it Wednesdays? No, it's Wednesdays, which I complained about last week that I'm always in the office on Wednesdays. Oh, but new exciting news. I am leaving my job. <gasps> exciting news. She put in her exciting two news. I've been at my job forever. So I'm leaving. It's time for change. It's time for your girl's second job out of college. Ooh, ooh. So see ya. That's so exciting. I know it's really hard to leave jobs that you like like the people at, but it's going to be such a like good experience for you to be somewhere new. No, the way I immediately burst into tears when yeah. I was like, I'm leaving. <laughs> and I yeah. didn't think I would, but I was just like, something. <laughs> I was like, I accepted a new job offer. I'm Aww. married. But when I left my first job, um, I was an assistant for my first job. So I like told my boss or whatever and then I had a call with the guy that I like assisted yeah um and we were just chatting doing our normal daily wrap up blah 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 and then I was like Nico I have bad news but it's like also really exciting news yeah and he was like okay what is it and I was like I'm leaving and then he like just closed the lid on his laptop and hung up and I just sat there like crying and then he came back and he was like where are you going I'm sure this job will suck. I can't believe you're leaving me. I'm so <laughs> excited for you. Like, way to go. I'm proud of you. Um, the job did suck. I left after a month, but it's okay. Um, but he told me that he thought that I was pregnant, like that that was the news that I was gonna say. Because my boyfriend, like a month earlier, had come to visit me in New York. Um, and then I had some like family emergencies going on. Yeah. So like I took some time off for that. And then I had 
a mysterious doctor's appointment the Monday before I told him, which was my final interview with this company. So he uh, thought like, <laughs> boyfriend came to visit, family emergencies, mysterious doctor's appointment, surely mystery. she's pregnant. And he was like, I would have preferred you to be pregnant than this. And I was like, oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. That is so funny. Yeah. My boss and I like never have our cameras on. Um, <laughs> I'm happy about like, yeah. And I answered my camera on like when I was like, can we talk really quickly? And she was like, I knew something was up when you had your camera on. I'm like, I'm sorry. But yeah, I have my two weeks. I put my two weeks in, not this Friday, but next Friday is my last day. Did you take any time off in between? So I'm like, I don't know when a good time to start is. And they were like, just start after your vacation. And so I have like two weeks off. Good. Which will be like the first time I've had a, break in forever just breathe no and I'm like actually really excited because now I have my pc I can like game Mm -hmm. finally get stuff done around the house yeah catch up on tv yeah like that's what I did when I had time off yeah I'm like gonna finally read the books on my shelf that looks like it's so cluttered right now hopefully you'll have a moment that I did where you just get possessed by the spirit of 15 year old you I need they devour that. books. <laughs> yeah, I do that. I just got Daisy Jones and the Six because Ooh. the show. I did it. I think it just came out. It did. I've heard mixed reviews about it. I've heard a lot of people don't like the format. I'm like avoiding all the content about it, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I love Sam Claflin. So one of the TikTokers, TikTokers, I really like just like talked about it and I was like I'll listen to you talk about anything <laughs> oh who is it her handle is Jay Stoops oh I yeah I know her I love her she's like really big in the Star Wars like Marvel yeah she talks about Marvel and Star Wars a lot and I'm like you can talk about anything and I'll listen to oh, you I love people like that yeah yeah so hopefully I can read a lot when I have my time off mm-hmm. have you read um seven husbands of evelyn hugo yeah i did want read that should one. i put that one next i liked it a lot because like mm-hmm. i didn't know i like not knowing what i'm getting into so it was mm-hmm. like like plot twist i don't know if you know anything about it i do because people talk about it a lot with yeah. you swift yeah but i think i liked it because well, I I like it'll still be a good that. read you no know, yeah and it's really easy like i read it all like speaking of reading my friend love you omar he's a friend that i met through star wars tiktok (laughs) but he's like rereading percy jackson now and he's like he's like hayley i read this book in like two days i'm like boy i read that book in two hours (laughs) yeah i was like i'm like i'm good for you and he's like (laughs) i'm like sorry fast reader here I've been documenting my rereads of this series. I haven't edited any of the videos. I just got really bored of editing things. Um, but like the lightning thief is up um on our YouTube channel if you're watching on Spotify. So go check that out. Um, and I might throw like the Sea of Monsters one in, but like as I was going through it, like there was a moment where Hermie shows up on the beach and I was like, yes. And this was before Hermes was cast in the show. So I was like, you know, if there was a God, I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd probably, you know, do Hermes. <laughs> um, and like the next day, I shit you not, the universe was against me. They were like, Hermes, Lynn Monroe Miranda. And I was like, never mind. <laughs> never <laughs> mind. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> The worst hear me out I've seen uh, was <laughs> the fucking cinnamon stick from the Applejack cereal. <laughs> I lost my mind. And then I saw. Oh my God. Yeah. I saw another tweet. <laughs> Sorry if I'm exposing anyone here, but. It's fucking. They put it on the internet. You're to be exposed. Okay, so here is cinnamon stick from Apple Jacks. All right. Yeah. This was another one. This is what inspired my like the robots guy. The robot. That's not a hear me out. Okay. Like some people say, like, yeah. Oh. (laughs) There's no hear me out. I'm saying like, 
I don't need to hear anyone out on that one. It's a Rome. It's a humanoid. It's like not. Okay, that's true. The cinnamon stick. Cinnamon <laughs> stick. That's insane. <laughs> that's so funny to me. I think about it. What's all your hear me out? Uh, Diego from Ice Age. <laughs> we talked about. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> And I understand the Zootopia girlies. I'm sorry. I get it. I get the Nick Wilde hype. And I get the tiger that would treat me right on the train. Like, <laughs> There's a reason they animated them like that. Okay. And it's because they wanted to fuck them in no, and the I'm studio. Like, why? No, why are you giving him muscle? Like, Why are you having him like that? Like, why is he posted up like that? No, literally. My mm-hmm. sisters um, hear me out or is kobu from lion king that (laughs) i get it though i think i haven't watched that movie in a long time i didn't really love it the first time i watched it but i don't like romeo and juliet stories so it's not surprising that i didn't love it is that lion king two or one and a half two is the romeo and juliet story that's kobu and kobu's like scars line and then simba's daughter they fall in love that's it's romeo and juliet vibe really one and a half is like Timon and Pumbaa behind the scenes of Lion King one. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Well, comment down below your worst hear me outs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's on y'all's minds? And I know they're like jokes, but <laughs> it's funny. You know. Have you been caught up with the Selena Gomez Haley Bieber drama? I have, but I think the unsung villain of this story is Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. He's a shitbag. Yes, there's a reason Selena Gomez didn't want to be with him. Well, also, he cheated on both of them a billion times. Like, he, that's like, not good played, person behavior. No, he played, like, at least Selena, Haley, and Kendall. I swear. Something's yeah. up. Just, like... Why are we villainizing the women? Like, mm-hmm. of course, Haley's going to act like that when her husband is, like, clearly in love with Selena, but, like, still married her and, like, talks about her like that. And, like, Oh, literally. I'd be crazy, too. Did you see he, like, hosted a party recent? I think it was his birthday. He hosted a birthday party and gave away those, like, did you see that? I didn't see what he gave away. His birthday is March 1st, so that definitely was okay. a party that just happened. Yeah. He gave away something to his guests that was like, I'm so glad I ended up with what I thought I wanted. I, I'm so glad I didn't end up with what I thought I wanted. I'm like, isn't that weird? Like, why are you still hung up on her? You're married. You are married. And it's been years. Men. Pisces men. Pisces mm. men are mm. scary. Mm. Water sign men, scary. Bad vi- my brother's a Pisces. Shout out to my love you. <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to my Cancerian brother. Love you. Don't let him <laughs> <laughs> but I know some bad Pisces men. Scorpio men are the scariest ones to me. But all water sign men, I'm like, I don't know. Male manipulator energy is the water signs. I was just gonna say another camp hot blood, Austin. Um PSA, if you guys are willing or have the means to support Camp Hoplet Austin, we are raising funds to stay open this summer at camphapletaustin.org slash donate or just share our posts. That helps a lot. Love you. Support them. I am like rewinding a little bit in the conversation. Who are your top three wood bang gods from the Greek pantheon? Ooh, you go first. Let me think. I feel mm-hmm. like Poseidon's definitely there. Mm-hmm. I, we're specifically going with the characterization presented in the Percy Jackson series, not any of the I, other characterizations. I have not read them in a hot minute. Well, that's probably the one that stuck the most in your brain. That's why right? I'm specifying that. Yeah. yeah. Whatever's in your, like, however you think of them. I'm like... Okay, now I kind of get the Hermes thing, though. I'm like, he's I would be Hermes. <laughs> like, so. Hermes, Poseidon, and, like, maybe not Ares. He seems too aggressive. I think I would do Hermes, Aphrodite. Okay. Because she can present, like, in any way. 
I, even if she, you know oh the goddess of love is going to take you for a ride oh you know? true it doesn't matter it's true or apollo duh he mm. was like the heartthrob back then that's so true i get it yeah i think i'd have to lock that in with the zeus like hanging underneath as like mm-hmm. uh what was all the hype about no because like why he be fucking you literally <laughs> Why does he have more kids than <laughs> anyone else? Every, I didn't realize that Helen of Troy was his kid. Everyone is his child. Everyone <laughs> is his child. That man, he's going around. Literally. So, like, what was the hype about? I gotta see. What form would he take? Would he be a shower of gold? A goose? A bull? Like, anything. There are so many options with it. <laughs> Speaking of, I found this like uh, fan art that I'm like obsessed with. Wait, someone needs to make a meme where it's Pacifay and then the bull and it's just her saying, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> no, literally. I found this fan account, a uh, fan art account. Her name's Breakfast at Miles and like she did this like Sally Jackson oh sally Uh, and i'm like obsessed with it and i was like can you commission me a profile picture like i want this but with a lightsaber like that's Mm me (laughs) but she's like too busy right now but go check her out because i'm like literally in love and i found what was her handle again it's at breakfast breakfast at miles i'm like cute little percy Oh my god baby percy yeah i'm sure i'm gonna have more like fan art accounts to like send because i've been like going down the rabbit hole i saw this like annabeth chase pirate one. Oh my gosh like back in our day we didn't have a lot of fan art people we had viria we had viria but it like and that was it the digital art is like it's popping now so i'm like i have to catch up on like the edits years. that you can make with that exactly. art and like so we started an edit account <laughs> i used to edit like nobody's business i used to have an edit account and then it was bad so i stopped <laughs> my tumblr account i'm like those weren't bad honestly i don't know how i did that <laughs> but yeah i'm like i want an ipad <laughs> I have an iPad. I love it. I recommend I, it. I want one for digital, just to doodle. But like, mm-hmm. I don't know if I can figure it out. Is it hard? You, have you tried? No, it's no, not- it's not hard at all. I use Adobe Fresco just because I used to have a subscription to the Adobe Suite, so it's yeah. free. Um, but I think everyone uses Procreate, and it's like yeah. really intuitive. Okay. Well. Oh, I just got a new phone too. Hee <laughs> hee. I had to wait at Verizon for like two fucking hours. It was a whole thing. But new phone. Phone case coming in soon. We so, hate big what- phone. <laughs> what phone case are you getting? Did you get the um oh, I got the Artemis one? I got this this like cute sun one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, it's summertime. Haley sent um in the group chat a bunch of options for her phone case. Uh, and we took it upon ourselves to find better ones. And she did not Sorry. like the ones that we sent. I liked the one that was a still from the Percy Jackson Sea of Monsters movie um very accurate to the books um I think it was them fighting Kronos in the Sea of Monsters I like don't remember that one (laughs) it's so funny it's just in there what phone case do you have um I have Monet because he is my guy um I'd go see his gardens they no. weren't closed right now when I'm in Europe, but that case um, to buy. yeah, because they did a collab with the Met. Um, yeah. so the Met got like some of the money, and I was like, Yeah, I'll do that. Love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my friends are like really into like wildflower phone cases, but I'm like, That's like a whole I don't know. People who are into phone cases are like into phone cases. Yeah, I am definitely like a I'm like, I just get one and I'm good. I don't know why my phone needs more outfits than I have. No, literally. I'm like, I can't even pick my own. So, Mm -hmm. but I get it. No, and why not have like one thing that I'm into and like. Exactly. Have that be the thing. I had my Monet. I did an open mic um, on Friday. I know, a bit of a poet. 
<laughs> um, and I was wearing like my Monet water lily shirt. And then I had my Monet phone case out. And <laughs> one of my friends walked up and they were like, oh, I guess you like really like Monet, huh? And I was like, mm. yeah, oh. I guess I do. <laughs> That was me in high school with Van Gogh. I was mm-hmm. like that art hoe that always had Starry Night. Always. <laughs> like, and I'm a little bit over it now, but I still love him. Yeah. It's not a phase. Impressionism is the real me. It's not. I love art. I'm an art mm-hmm. enjoyer. But yeah. Well, we have five minutes left. Um... Thanks for tuning in and we actually have rebranded our social media accounts. That was like a big step. This was like, and it was like, I didn't think I was going to do with this soon, but I was like, okay, our reels are kind of like doing well. Like let's actually make a brand out of it. So we are retired fangirls podcast on Instagram. Did somebody already have retired fangirls on Instagram? yeah and it's like a private oh account and so I'm like mm, okay but yeah okay brave all right retired fangirls on on TikTok and then I couldn't bring myself to change the YouTube yet because <laughs> it has like our old group photo and stuff but we're still heroes of Olympus or at heroes of Olympus 15 so for the time yeah. being but I might being. cry when we shift this over I know I think we should maybe keep I wanted to like do it where it was like Heroes of Olympus slash like retired fangirls but yeah I don't think it let it didn't let me like I think the title was too long so we'll we'll cross that line when we get there we'll workshop it yeah but for now we've rebranded on Instagram and TikTok so follow us there comment any ideas we're yes, there. please comment ideas. You can do it somewhere on Spotify. I think if you scroll down on the episode page. Um, do you want to do a poll this week? What do you want to poll the audience? Hear me out. No. <laughs> well, Maybe it's like it options. Like, no, yeah. It could be like a Greek god thing or something. Okay. I don't know. Well, you decide. All right. Answer the poll down below. It's a mystery poll. Mystery. You'll you'll know when you see it. Mm -hmm. and then vote and we'll disclose the poll and the results in next episode and apparently we have 19 spotify listeners hey howdy to the spotifyers out there (laughs) who are those 19 people let me know i'm not one of them (laughs) you don't follow us on spotify i follow us but i'm oh is it just the followers it's 19 followers and then we have to look at who the regular i see we can't see who you are we don't get names we just get numbers Okay, well, I am one of them then, but by the end of editing, I'm like sick of hearing myself talk, so I don't listen, but <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thank um, you. Shout out to Ryan. Love you, babe. Love you. Love more internet friends. We're mm-hmm. also friends, by the way, people who are wondering. <laughs> all is a big word there were a lot of us on that channel but like the healthiest chunk of us still are in contact there's like a core there's like a good amount Mm -hmm. we miss you whoever's like not as active but we're yeah come back it's not like you're excommunicated we miss you a lot it's just that you don't you never text the group chat so just kidding love (laughs) Um, we are trying to get some of the SPS members to join our zoom at some point yeah we want them here to chat with us and you guys it'll be a surprise whether they want to come on or not because you know everyone's busy and it's Mm -hmm. Monday but if they do come on welcome them shower them with love and oh I'm wearing my Hercules sweater we love Hercules I'm wearing New York (laughs) New York I have so much New York. stuff. Um, it's a great film. Yeah. Have a good week, everyone. Even mm-hmm. though it's Friday when this comes out. But I hope you had a good week by now when you listen. I hope you have a great weekend and a good week in between. Yes. Drops. Slay. Oh, it's like spring break too. So like have a good spring break. Oh, go on vacation. Yeah. Like have fun. Mm-hmm. Do it for us. Um, and then tell us what you did so that we can have your gossip on the channel yeah 
Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>